Hey. Um, no, anyways, today we're doing what I've wanted to do for quite a while, and that is. Okay, it's not there. Bro's returned. Don't look at my feet, boy. Ooh. That's this. A white line anti lip. So basically, these things replace the compliance bushings on your front lower control arms. Now that is a maintenance item compliance bushes and like on this car they need to be replaced. Yeah. You guys wanna know what the best fucking part is? Watch this. You get two stickers. They will literally give you a free decal pack with 10 decals. Now that's if you pay for shipping, which for me was 50 fucking dollars to ship essentially an A4 bit of paper. What the fuck? The first upgrade on this is that this bush here is a lot stiffer than a stock bush, right? So that's gonna have quite a bit of benefits. You know, your turning's gonna be a lot sharper. You'll feel the road more, you know, through the steering, for example. But what makes the anti-lift kit different to any other aftermarket bush is that this will actually change the alignment of your car. Let's say as you're turning, your tire contact patch is gonna be a lot flatter. That in turn is gonna give you more grip as you go around corners. Especially, let's say you're driving the old automobile and you're going around a corner and you put your foot down a bit, accelerate. And of course, right, more grip means less understeer, which, and also my, it adds more caster, which I'm gonna be honest, most of us are fucking idiots, so we don't know what it means, but apparently, so your high speed stability has gotta be a lot better. Also with the increased caster, you gotta have the car wanting to rotate you around the corners you'll be utilizing more of the car's grip as you utilize more of the rear grip. All that sort of nerdy bullshit. They probably don't care about, let's be honest. So basically what it's doing, I think, is if you've got the control arm here, the bush has got to lower it like that. So you get more caster. If you know what caster is and all that, it will make sense. If you don't, then tough luck. Ooh. Well, let's say foot flat to the floor, Foot's on the clutch, you dump it. <laughs> then you just get wheel hop. Apparently this stops that. I've... You guys are probably wondering, like, well, there must be something bad about it. It'll, it'll make your steering a bit heavier. If you struggle with steering, oh, it's too heavy for me, I'm a pussy. <laughs> Not sure what's gonna happen now, right? Because, well, I've just gotta take the control arms off and then get PS Automotive to push the new bushes on, but they said, um, just bring the whole fucking car down and we do all of it. So we'll do that. So let's get that done. Continue on State Highway 1 for six kilometers. Josh, anyways. We just got it done, right? And I just took my first hard corner in it. And like, it should have understeered, and it didn't at all. So, anyways, my other first impressions. Yeah, that's, that's sharper. Um, the steering's a little bit heavier. Another thing I noticed is if you turn, it does sort of center a bit quicker. Uh, but those things are sort of subtle if you're just driving normally. Yeah, going around that corner hard, it was very noticeable. Wow. Also, like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and all that other bullshit. Let's go on some more corners. And, um, fucking hell. This thing has so much more grip, like, around corners. Holy shit, like, I remember one of them was going around. I was like, oh, yeah, it's going pretty fast. It turned it way harder than I expected, and it just, it grips so fucking good. There's two things you can actually see on the car that's different. The first being, in there you can literally see it. Like, that's pretty cool. It's towed out quite a bit. You can see the front wheels being like this, kind of like that. 
So that is good for, you know, like a really good turn in, uh, but then the tire wear is pretty shit. So I don't know what I really want to do about that. But anyways, fuck. My impressions after a while. It's one of the, it is probably the most underrated mod um, for one of these so far that I've experienced. Like, you don't hear a lot of talk about it, but holy shit, it made such a big fucking difference. Like, just going around those corners, holy fuck. Like, oh, man, this, it just fucking grips. You push it to where you usually just start to understand and it just keeps going. Yeah. And it, the, the car here, it like rotates more, it's more playful. It's, it feels like it's just quicker on its feet, you know? I don't know what else to say. Um, I think it's been a short video. You know, not that there's anything wrong with something short. Video's got a good personality, right? Like. But anyways, it's fucking hot in this car. Holy shit, it handles better. You better do it, mate. So, yeah, we'll see you next time. Love you. Follow me on Instagram, please, and like and subscribe and all that bullshit.